Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Most Mysterious Recent Underwater Finds The world's waters account for around 70% of the surface of our planet, but only 5% have been researched and examined. It suggests that there's a whole other world deep under the waters, with secrets and myths not yet uncovered. Over the years, sailors around the world have seen and encountered several enigmatic ocean phenomena. We've also seen some of the most atrocious findings one could ever imagine, and it is why we have decided to make this video featuring some of the most recent interesting underwater finds. Get ready to dive in as we uncover these 10 most mysterious recent underwater findings. Number 10. Soda Springs There are many awe-inspiring mysteries hidden underneath the water, and scientists diving off the Philippine coast have just discovered a new one. The ocean floor bursts under the waves, 60 meters deep, like champagne, with large quantities of carbon dioxide. For once, such a mission isn't caused by human beings, but a nearby volcano, venting into the ocean floor through cracks. The area acquires its fizz from a geological source named Soda Springs. It's also very similar to a vibrant network of coral reefs, which means that the site may be useful to research how marine habitats respond to climate change. The site is located between the islands of Luzon and Mindoro in a stretch of water called the Verde Island Passage. It's rich in marine biodiversity and an important conservation target. Cardenas and his team dived in the field to try and research the impact of surrounding islands on ocean freshwater habitats. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Long Lost Aircraft Three U.S. aircraft were found 76 years after they went lost in a lagoon in Micronesia. The aircraft, which in February 1944 became part of Operation Hailstone, are identified with seven U.S. servicemen classified as missing in action. Project Recover, which harnesses technology to locate and repatriate missing Americans in action MIA, during Operation Hailstone, discovered the aircraft in the Truck Lagoon, now known as the Chuk Lagoon part of the Micronesian Federated States. Although Operation Hailstone resulted in a U.S. victory, the three aircraft, which operated from the USS Enterprise and USS Intrepid aircraft carriers, were among about 30 American aircraft lost during Operation Hailstone. Of these, 12 have been lost inside the lagoon. Project Recover Partners conducted four expeditions to Chuuk in search of those missing aircraft from April 2018 through December 2019. The team located the debris field of the three aircraft in depths ranging from 100 to 215 feet after a combined 50 days on the water and search that covered nearly 70 square kilometers of the seafloor. Number 8. Sunken City of Cuba Cuban underwater city refers to a site thought by some to be a submerged structural granite complex off the coast of the Guanahacabibis Peninsula in Cuba's province of Pinar del Rio. First recorded in early 2001, sonar images were interpreted as symmetrical and geometric stone structures resembling an urban complex covering an area of 2 square kilometers at depths between 600 meters and 750 meters. The discovery was recorded by the marine engineer Pauline Zalitsky and her husband Paul Weinswig, owners of a Canadian company named Advanced Digital Communications, working together with the Cuban government on an exploration and survey mission. Number 7. Mexico's Underwater River The Yucatan Peninsula sinkholes are full of treasure. Amazing dives, Mayan artifacts, ancient human sacrifices, and the most remarkable sight of an underwater river of all. Located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, a hidden underwater river called the Cenote Angelita, Spanish for Little Angel, can be found after a 10 to 15 minute dive south of Tulum. It's a unique place to see a thin layer of hydrogen sulfate separate the salt water from the fresh water above it, creating a cloudy phenomenon that resembles fog. It allows scuba diving enthusiasts to swim along this underwater formation, which looks much like a normal river would be on the ground. 
On both sides of the shores, there are even fallen trees and leaves, which make this natural phenomenon look even more surreal. In To See Note Angelita, all will seem unreal, and you will begin to experience the feeling of fear intensified in your brain by the effects of nitrogen. Number 6. 1000 Explosives in Cornish Quarry Divers in a Cornish quarry were forced to call the bomb squad after uncovering explosives. Diving for a combined nine years, Luke Craddock and Josh Roberts have recorded more than 200 dives between them. They specialize in looking for things lost at sea, quarries, rivers, or canals, and run the Lost and Found Facebook page. Both had previously been featured on Cornwall Live after they discovered an underwater shotgun. One weekend, they made their most surprising discovery yet. Luke and Josh were diving at Tordown Quarry at St. Brewerd when they uncovered about 1,000 explosives. Luke went on to explain that it all happened so fast, the bomb squad arriving in just eight minutes to make things secure. Number 5. Ice Age Predators This discovery was made in 2018. Nearly 200 feet below sea level, divers in a Mexican cave discovered something very unbelievable. The skeletal remains of Ice Age predators that existed somewhere about 11,000 years ago. The cave, which is situated in the Yucatan Peninsula, is called Hoyo Negro. Since the climate is usually too warm for objects to hang around for a long time, much of Mexico and Central America doesn't have a lot of geological evidence. But as this particular cave was acting as a temperature trap, it holds a wealth of information that comes in the form of creature skeletons unlucky enough to plummet to their deaths. The divers came up with intact skulls and other bones from two extinct animals. Apart from that, they found fossils with seven individuals of the Archotherium wingi, a smaller relative of the giant short-faced bears that lived during the Pleistocene in South America, which are thought to be the largest bears ever. By using preserved collagen from a tooth's roots, Schubert and his team dated the bones of one bear to about 11,000 years ago. The team also discovered wolf-like animal fossils called Protoceon troglodytes. Number 4. Locomotives We've all heard of train graveyards, but did you hear about one that's underwater? Anyway, check this out. There's a deep seaside train graveyard off the New Jersey coast. Two locomotives which were lost in the 1850s lie beneath 90 feet of water. Back in 1985, Paul Hepler found this graveyard by chance. He measured the ocean bottom by a magnometer. The device picked up on the two huge metal objects, which turned out to be trains, went above the graveyard. Given the muddy water, the trains were studied by experts at their watery resting spot. The locomotives appear to be rare models of the Planet Class 222T, a model that was produced only for a short period because of the unfortunate fact that they were obsolete almost as soon as they were made. However, the million dollar question is how the two steam engines were sunk. There are no historical records of them being lost, and to top all that, the engines being built in the first place are not registered. They are so well preserved that there is a proposal in the works to get the locomotives back above water and rebuild them. Mr. Lieb is currently in charge of that project and is partnering with the Transportation Museum of New Jersey to achieve that goal. The restoration wouldn't only be for the sake of train enthusiasts, but would also be an opportunity for historians and scholars to study a rare model of the engine and the materials and methods it was designed with. Number 3. San Jose Shipwreck Researchers and governments have been searching for a Spanish ship that sank more than 300 years ago, carrying today $17 billion worth of gold and silver. Attempting to locate the San Jose was dubbed the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks. It was eventually found off Cartagena, Colombia's coast in 2015. The San Jose was a three-masted 62-gun ship, the flagship and largest galleon of a Spanish fleet carrying gold, silver, and emerald from the Potosi, Peru mines. It was sailing from Panama to Colombia when it went down in the War of the Spanish Succession on June 8, 1708, during a clash with British ships with 600 people aboard. Colombia has been called upon by UNESCO, the UN Cultural Agency, not to exploit the wreck. The exact wreckage location remains a state secret. For now, the treasure itself remains where it has been, lying on the seabed for the last 300 years. WHOI, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, played a vital role in both finding and discovering the San Jose's final resting spot. 
which had remained a great mystery for decades for underwater archaeologists, historians, governments, and treasure hunters. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Creepy Hand Scary, right? You might be wondering what that exactly is or what it really belongs to. Now, picture your kid or just any random child being the one to discover it. Well, this was the case when children, a boy and a girl, threw some magnets in some reservoir as they were playing. The boy threw it several times and pulled nothing out, but when the girl threw it, she felt that the magnet had pulled something. As she pulled whatever it was to the shore, they were both anxious and afraid at the same time. It seemed to be a plastic arm with a watch on the wrist, but it still looked very creepy. How it got there, no one knows. Can you guess? What does it really look like? Number 1. The Nile Shipwreck One of the most elusive boats from the ancient world, a mysterious river barge, which was described almost 2,500 years ago by famous Greek historian Herodotus, has been discovered. Herodotus dedicated 23 lines of his history to the sort of boat, known as a baris, known as a baris after seeing one being constructed in 450 BC during his voyages to Egypt. Herodotus described in his writings how the long barge had one rudder which passed through a hole in the keel, a mast made of acacia wood and papyrus sails. Called Ship 17, it was originally up to 28 meters long with a crescent-shaped hull, 70% of which survived. Nevertheless, modern archaeo- Nevertheless, modern archaeologists had never laid their eyes on such a boat until Thanos Heraklion's ancient sunken port city was discovered on the Egyptian coast in 2000. Those who have played the Assassin's Creed Odyssey can recall operating a ship like this. Has this sparked your spirit of adventure? Let us know in the comments section down below. 